He makes dumb jokes while he shoots his gun. Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack attack. Hey, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Dead Space remake. This is Chapter Six, and Chapter Six is that away. But before we go that away, let's upgrade the pulse rifle and get a free ammo refill. Actually, um. We're not going to do that just yet. We're going to get this one up here. Custom magazine greatly increases ammunition capacity. What, what it does is increases your ammunition, your magazine by 20. This one does not give you a free ammo refill. It gives you 20 extra shots initially. And then when you get um, other capacity upgrades, um, they will top it off up to the new um amount of ammo that you have, your your magazine capacity, rather. Okay, so this is just going to give us 20 extra. I believe I had 20 already in my clip. So that's going to give me 40. i got a special plans for that. For now, we're going to go with the plasma cutter, reload that. And one thing this game has taught me is be ready for anything at all times. So if you see me carrying around junk ammo, that's why. This game never ceases to amaze me with what it pulls out of a... It just pulls all kinds of shit out of its ass. Part of my French. You do like a certain area six times in a row and the seventh time will do something completely different. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. What did you give up? Here's something else. Give me your stuff. You give me your claw. Okay, we're going that way. Don't need stasis. There's bound to be something in the tram repair room. Let's just go in pre prepared. I hear something. Here we go. Oh shit. Man, the game gave me a Full load. Full load. Okay, this way, guys. Come on over here. Everybody gets skewered. And you get skewered. And... <laughs> Gotta love that junk ammo. Yeah. Yeah, that went well. Got another claw. Actually, I'd rather use the uh, the pregnant claw, and make sure we refill your stasis using the stasis recharge. And once again, be ready for anything. Okay, so what say you? I think if you're near hydroponics, check your helmet filters. That air is not safe to breathe. Yeah, I smelled it. The whole deck's rotting. I'm reading a huge mass in food storage. Too big to be anything they grew. It looks like the source of the poison gas. That patient in medical. He said something about creating an enzyme, right? Maybe the scientists left the workstation open. Okay, let's make our way over to hydroponics. Grab those goodies there. Complete its objective. New objective, create the enzyme. First thing you want to do is open up this tram station. Station now accessible. Thank you for your patience. Okay, y'all, listen to this why take a look around. Hydroponics log, Dr. Elizabeth Cross. Now that sprinklers are fixed, we're working close to maximum capacity. All flora is thriving, and food yield has created a surplus. I had the surplus packed up so we could send it to the colony. The Captain Matthias is strictly enforcing his no-fly order. It's ridiculous. I'm lodging a complaint. Everyone knows Aegis 7 needs help. What harm could some fresh fruit do? Yeah, a little fresh fruit never hurt anybody. Okay, so once again, be ready for anything. And it is nothing, but there's something in the bathroom for sure. 
this is what I'm saving my pulse rifle ammo for. Whole bunch of those little creepy crawlies that usually come out of a pregnant. Right there. You want to lay a proximity mine, not at the that foot. See this little foot right, this foot right about here. And we're just gonna advance, get them to spawn, and go up. I got them all. Great. Yeah. Excellent. I hate those little buggers. Yeah, bitch. Ah. Anything crawling along the ground in this game, I absolutely detest. Yeah, you crawl up your back and they just tax your health. That little med pack is always there, by the way. And pardon me if I go into the inventory and take my health. Um, I know you can take it just by pressing the take health key in the game. Normally, normally, I say normally, operative word normally, prioritizes the smallest med pack you have in your inventory. But I've seen it fail occasionally with that. And I definitely want to save all my large med packs, so yeah. I've seen it fail doing that. Okay, so, up we go. Okay, we're in hydroponics now. And switch over to... Plasma Cutter. Ah! You finished game? Okay. Because that wasn't really scary. And let's say hello to Elizabeth Cross. Report in loop. This is Dr. Elizabeth Cross. To all survivors, turn back. Really? It's all gone. Everything we grew. My team. All dead. That monster! Please, leave. Get somewhere safe. If I can find a way to kill it, somehow. Jacob, if you're hearing this, you know I have to try. So, hydroponics, eh? Nice little garden here. Here's some corn. Here's some tomatoes. It's like cabbage here. Record in loop. Mushrooms. Hmm. This is Dr. Elizabeth Cross. Where's the weed? To all <laughs> Turn back. Ain't a hydro hydroponics garden if you ain't got no weed. Come on. Warning. Liquid nitrogen supply depleted. And I can say that because I live in Canada. Here, weed is legal. <laughs> So I'm not breaking any nitrogen laws. replenished. Beginning enzyme synthesis. All right, so synthesizing enzyme. Enzyme synthesis complete. All right. Caution: Do not ingest. Well done. Okay. And grab that. Yeah, I finished the enzyme. It's been modified to digest something big. They must have been trying to kill whatever's in food storage. Let's hope it works. All right, so objective marker, or rather, locator says go that way. Let's go that way. Oh, oh, hello. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Go back. There's no way into food storage. Even if there was, the Leviathan would devour you. You, you're Elizabeth Cross, right? This Leviathan, is that what's poisoning the air? The air. My team has destroyed everything. I designed a special enzyme to kill it. I just needed liquid nitrogen to complete the synthesis. But the people I sent to medical never came back. I've got some of that enzyme here. Oh my god. How? Listen, 
We need to inject it into the Leviathan. You can't get into food storage, but there's another way. It's risky. Riskier than running out of air? My team has been altered. They're all connected to the Leviathan, breathing out its toxins. That connection goes both ways. Okay. So if I get to your team and inject them... The enzyme will be carried right into the Leviathan's heart. Bind the... Weezers. End their suffering. And when the Leviathan is weak enough, we vent the bastard into space. Okay, so that objective has been cancelled. Now we can inject the Weezers, and so begins our epic journey to inject eight Weezers. Starting with Weezer number one. All right. Elizabeth Cross said to turn back, so we are turning back. Let's go inject the Weezers. Somebody's gonna ask, do you smoke slack? No, I do not. I am 100% drug free. And I have been for 23 years now. Yeah, 23 years, 100% drug free. Um, we don't have any business in here, so let's get out. And wizard number one is this away. Oh, yeah, the spray room. Okay. The death spray room. Okay, don't step in the death spray. Why not, Slack? Because it will kill you. Well, it will damage you a lot. Okay, in here is a ripper upgrade. In there is a bench. That's a level 3 door we can't get in yet. And we have to avoid the death sprays. Okay, let's time it right. Right after it sprays, go for it. Go. Just enough time to get in. And here is the Ripper upgrade. Comes with a free power node and 1800 credits. And I think we got everything in here. Let's see if we can get safely out. This is kind of tricky. Okay, just stand in between here. Wait for this one to pop off and then we'll go to the next one. Okay, one in the center never goes off. This one is safe. Okay, and here's the bench. And we can use this to get a free ammo refill for our pulse rifle, which we have been carefully emptying out. Hope it's empty. Let me double check here. Yep, only got eight shots left. Perfect. Okay, so let's get one of those capacity upgrades and get a whole bunch of free ammo. We can get this one, but I think it's better to get this one because this connects to uh, some other important nodes that uh, will come online later. All right, there you go. And that's all we want for now. Okay, so now the pulse rifle should be packing 150. Yeah, that's like six proxy mines. That's excellent. Okay, reload. Everything's good. Gimme, gimme. And, wow, a bunch of fire extinguishers. Okay. You all line up here like a nice little pretty chorus line here. Okay, you're coming with me. How'd you come? Oh, easy now. You gotta time this right. And go. Oh, what the? And go. Go. There we go. Okay, drag these guys over when it's not spraying, otherwise, they'll blow up.
down. All right, my little fire extinguisher is going for a little ride. Got a special job for you. Line up right there. And line up right there. Okay. Up we go. You, you're on point. Okay, always a slasher at the top. Let him have it. Boom. And another one. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got lots of junk ammo here, and this is going to be great. Set up a little Alamo. Because what's coming up next is a veritable earthquake of Necromorphs with several aftershocks. Yeah. <laughs> However, um, we will be getting the force gun if we can speed run there. I'm going to show you how to do that. You go over the side. Should be another fan here. And I'm happy with that. Should be one more. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, in this room, don't go across this line here approximately, like about maybe midway between this door to there, or the same from that, like across there. Stay in this area here until you're ready to go. I'm gonna set up a little bomb here. That guy over here, proximity mine. Lay that guy down there. We got a steel rod here. And let's just set up an Alamo over here. Okay, I'm not going to loot these guys because it's a nice bright area. And let's set up a final Alamo right here. Nice, yeah. Okay, so a couple claws here. And the fan. Okay, so we got several Alamos. One there. We got a trap there. Here's what's gonna happen. If you take a look at your map, you see a level two room right here. This is where the force gun is. What I want to do is take this steel rod. There's a guy a slasher always spawns down there. We can skewer him, get an instant kill, grab a claw off him, go towards the force gun room. There's always a lurker there. We can skewer him with the slasher claw. And then what happens to that is pretty random. Um, we got lots of stasis. Um, I think I'd like to quickly lay in a proxy mine over in that corner there as well. Okay, so that's the plan. Let's do it. He comes out. Skewer. Grab a claw, skewer him, right? Proxy mine, switch this plasma cutter around. Open the room. Put those guys in stasis, go in the room. Turn around, wait for somebody to follow. Cripple. Beautiful. I'd expect two to... What? One got in? What? Everybody got in? That's unusual. They all got in. They all crowded through the door like a bunch of... Like the three stooges. That's really unusual. That never happens. Usually one comes in. Maybe two. This is amazing. Figures. They're getting a recording handicap. Okay, well anyways, I survived. I knew what's good. knew that's going to happen. Okay, so once you're in here, you're pretty safe. Because the others, you know, they they don't really know how to open doors yet. Look at this mess. This is nuts. This has never happened before. Okay, I just want to get it all cleaned up before... Uh... Okay, we 
We got a ton of claws here. There's a forest gun. And it lives up to its name. It is a force to be reckoned with. Ha ha ha. Pun intended. Let's quit that right away. Slot number one. Okay. Got two modes. I'll show you the other modes later. But for now, it's just like this this gravitational blast that just blows things back and apart. Couldn't ask for better. Fair warning, don't use it on pregnants because it'll make all those little baby spawn come out. You gotta be surgical with pregnants. I guess you figured that out by now. Okay, let's pile up a whole bunch of claws at the door here. Get rid of all these other body parts. Should be some more claws here. See, that's the good thing about these these two dead slashers here. The game gives you lots of claws to play around with, so when we get back out there, um, here's another claw. Okay, so we got and the force gun. Oh, there's another claw. There we go. Got lots of ammo. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Who's ready? Who wants some? Where is everybody? Uh oh. They flushed me out. Let's go for the Alamo. It didn't blow. I hate that when it, you know, they don't blow. And there is a whole bunch of there. <laughs> Those buggers. Okay, it's time for the force gun. Where are those little buggers? Hey, you see this? <laughs> There's some health. I think that's a spitter. Yeah, it's a spitter. So you get dead just like that. <laughs> Couldn't get a line of fire on me, could you? Okay. Well, that was really messy because I accidentally gave birth to the pregnant. I didn't mean to do that. I'm pretty careful about that. Okay, so what kind of health did we pick up? A bunch of little... Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's better. There's another one. There we go. All better. You even get to use my claws. Okay, and the first Weezer is in here. Toxic hazard detected. Definitely lay a trap here. I call it. Yeah, bitch, watch it now, watch it. Very good. 
and once again play Dead Space Remake like a Boy Scout always be prepared can't believe he got it Here's my closet. I've seen that happen before. Where a claw will go right through. You see it went right through him, eh? I can't stand that. I gotta have to watch the video back. I've seen that happen before. I never asked your name. Isaac Clark, systems engineer. Engineer? Have you seen Jacob Temple? I haven't. But I'm looking for someone too. Dr. Nicole Brennan. Dr. Brennan? Doesn't she help people leave unitology? Yeah. Like my mother. That's how we met. I hope she's okay. The unitologists here didn't like anyone questioning them. And since the captain died, they've all snapped. Okay. Now, you come with me. Got another one. Okay, actually, I think I'm going to leave them over right there where I know they're going to be. Okay, this is my emergency. Come back downstairs, Alamo. Because we got lots of claws. Okay, you guys hang out there. Alright, so we got Weezer number one. I'm just quickly run around because there was a lot going on. It's alive. Okay, once again, play like a Boy Scout. Be prepared for anything. Where's my claw? Hey buddy! Okay, we're getting a little surprised in here too. Not this time. Okay. Okay, stasis pack. And you can pause the video and read this up if you still desire. Done? Very good. Oh! Almost forgot this. That's always there. I think there's something down here too. Gimme. I can see it. Come on now. There we go. Haha. <laughs> 1800 credits. Don't want that slipping through our fingers, and I think we're good. Alright. Aha. Uh -huh. This is a job for. Stasis. 
refill. Do I have any claws in here? No. Oh, here. Oh, there's a claw. Okay, go for a knockback. Where's that fan? And then go for a cripple. You can get out. No. Ouch! Okay, he's not gonna let me out. I'm gonna stomp your ass just for clawing me like that. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm a man of my word. Stomp your ass. Now give me your claws. Next. Weezer number three. This is down on floor two. Hang on, I just want to make sure. Yep. store there too. Okay, we don't have to switch anything yet. There's a store. Okay, we're definitely buying that to get a free power note. And to extend the upgrade tree for the forest gun. Definitely keeping that, and I want to stash the big boy here. I'll pick up four large mids. That's great. That's going to come in handy later on. All right. Do I have any little mids? No, I do not. We're good to go. Okay, should be a safe station just outside here. Uh oh, something out there. Oh yeah, right, these guys. The exploders. You can separate their explosive slack. Explosive sack. That's the best thing to do. There's gonna be a few more. If you shoot carefully at the very top of their explosive sack, you can separate from them. Let's put a little stasis here. Or just shoot it. Here, I got one. No. I'm trying to grab that sack over there. The game won't let me. Do that one right there. There's another little mid. See, so you can you, if you can separate it, you can throw these around. Excellent. Should be a safe station around here somewhere. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Ah! Messy, but a lot of fun. Best be expected. It's like it's a total pandemonium in that uh, downstairs here. Wow! Yeah! <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. If you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give the old slacks their big old thumbs up. Subscribe, post the comments, stuff like that there. See you next time for part two of chapter six. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.